It's the CVPTV News. My name is Patricia Mansebiachan. The headlines. Holy God can decide who succeeds you. Muhammad tells a Kufu Ado. It's good to publish assets, Apia Kubi tells public office holders. Power outages affecting our businesses release them so timetable, Guta. This news was sponsored by Archers Media Institute and TVP Beauty Parlor. The news in detail. The flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, John Dramani Mahama, has told President Akufu Addo that the path to determine his successor does not lie in his hands, addressing attendees at a ceremony in Damango. Situated in the Savannah region, where he initiated the construction of a new multi-purpose Indura Jakba Palace, Mahama underscored the importance of a peaceful and credible election, suggesting that such a legacy would be Ekufuado's most significant contribution. Mahama's remarks follows Ekufuado's assertion that he cannot pass the baton to someone he had previously removed from office. Before the election is held, I am going to come here and pay my proper goodbye to you and thank you for the cooperation that I received from you when I was president. God willing, when I come, I will come with a man who is going to be my successor. Wana, you know that the man I removed from the seat, I cannot have him as my successor. And as a traditional ruler, you understand what I am saying, President Ekufuado said. Mohammed's remarks follows Ekufuado's accession. To our next story, the flag bearer of the new patriotic party, NPP, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia is set to begin his political campaign on Monday, April 29, ahead of the December polls. A statement signed by the Director of Communications for the Baumia for President Engine 4 campaign, Mr. Dennis Miracles Abwaji, indicated that the flag bearer will begin with the Eastern Region and will tour all 16 regions over the next month. According to the statement, Dr. Baumia will meet stakeholders, including traditional leaders, the clergy, the youth, traders, drivers, farmers, students, and visit businesses, including marketplaces, to interact with both traders and consumers during the tour. The statement further continues to give Dr. Baumia the needed reception during the tour as he has shown in these eight years that he has more integrity, discipline, focus, ideas and solutions than his main opponent, John Germani Mahala. Showed in his eight years as a vice president and president, Dr. Baumia was buoyed up by the strong backing from the party's grassroots and the growing enthusiasm and confidence resonating throughout the elephant family. The statement had it. So in the world of politics, Stephen Intin, the national chairman of the New Patriotic Party, has committed to address an internal party conflict as the party prepares for the December polls. Recent events, particularly disputes leading to some party members running as independent candidates ahead of the 2024 parliamentary elections, have caused dissatisfaction among party members. Speaking at a large rally in Ajiso on Sunday, April 28, in team assured supporters that CC steps would be taken to resolve such issues in the interest of party unity. And it is obvious that such individuals are closest members of our great party. But I can assure you that when Kwamina Boatin is elected MP for Ajiso, our national leadership will ensure that or internal issues in the various constituencies will be resolved, he added. Hundreds of supporters of the governing party gathered in Ejiso and other separate locations as they held final campaigns before heading to the polls on 30 April. President Akufado, who joined the campaign trial, called out former NPP MP turned independent candidate Kwabina Uwusu Edwami 
shooting the latest accusations of region ahead of the Ijizo by election. Moving on to other stories, the Ghana Union of Traders Associations, Guta, has joined calls for the electricity company of Ghana, ECG, to release a load shedding timetable as the ongoing power interruptions have negatively affected businesses and livelihoods across the country. In a statement, Guta highlighted the significant impact of the power outages on various sectors, including agriculture, trade, and industry. According to them, manufacturers are struggling to maintain production schedules and plan for their workforce due to their inconsistent power supply, which also increases production costs and worsens living conditions. Traders, shop owners, wholesalers, tailors, dressmakers, electricians, and other artisans are also facing setbacks in their businesses due to the doomsaw phenomenon. Guta is demanding answers from ECG regarding the real causes of the erratic power outages, the efforts being made to fix the issue, and the timeline for resolution. They also urge ECG to provide a timetable for the load shedding to enable businesses to plan their activities effectively. Moving on to our last story, the Member of Parliament MP for the Asante Akim North constituency, Andy Apia Kubi, has advised public office holders to publish their assets to avoid being accused of amassing wealth while in office. He said it is a good sign for public officials to publish their assets. Speaking on TV3 is the Key Point News Analysis Program on Saturday, April 27, that Apia Kubi said, I support the cause for the publication. Indeed, it is good for us to publish the assets when you assume office. That's all for the news, a recap of the top stories. Power outages affecting our businesses will use the so timetable, Guta. We will fix all internal issues before December pools, Stephen E. Team assures NPP. NPP flag bearer Dr. Baumia officially begins election 2024 campaign. This news was sponsored by CBP Professional Institutes and CBP Beauty Parlor. Stay tuned for more news updates.